on this particular vehicle, we've got the catalytic converter right in the center of the vehicle, right here. That back there is a muffler. They cut about three quarters of the way through on this side. And also here, you can see uh, about three quarters of the way through from the other side they try to cut it and I had it I, I went to a muffler shop paid eighty dollars for them to uh, close that up uh, weld the cut there's a couple things that I'm going to do one is I'm going to spray the catalytic converter a bright color like this orange here and this is I'm using a uh, high temperature uh, paint. Um, this one goes up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna paint this the bright orange um, but I want I just want to paint the catalytic converter. I don't want to paint this the rest of the area so I'm gonna have to mask uh, the areas that I'm not gonna paint. I'm going to use news or advertising print and but the first thing is Underneath here, uh, I have to clean out because it's very uh, dusty uh, in order to, for me to adhere the masking tape. Blow it off by air with a compressor that I've got. I, I used the air compressor and blew everything out, and uh, including the, the catalytic converter, Underneath here clean blew all the dust out of here, so I'm ready to um, Do the masking. I'm going to use uh, Some tape here. This is really good tape 3m and it's for rough surfaces It's for rough surfaces, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, so now you see my masking job here Okay, so you can see I've painted it now, and here is the finished product. On these cable ends, you would want to wrap some tape or weld it uh, so the ends are not frayed. So these sealed ends will allow um, you to be able to thread the cable through holes and uh, the threaded ends won't hurt your, uh, your skin. I'm using one quarter inch cable and I'm going to wrap that around the frame here and then um, wrap it around the catalytic converter through the holes and the vents wrap it around here and at the back end also uh, wrap it around the framing In regards to connecting the cable I'm going to use these clamps and I'll explain and demonstrate my strategy on clamp placement. We got our clamps put on here. And the idea, two independent attachments to the car, or two or more, uh, to the uh, frame. And this is a different cord. Uh, and they're, they're separate. They're not uh, looping just around this only. And also, another thing is you want independent uh, attachments from going back this way. And the other one right here 
is, is, is a separate uh, cable going back along with this one right here uh, which is this one right here. So you, you notice it's going back that way. So if someone cuts this right here while well, it's already also attached here. Um, if they cut this one, well, it's also attached by this one back there. So you got a double protection there. And the same sort of thing is happening over here. For this one, this ca these cables are separate. One is going on, on, on through the bottom of the catalytic converter and then this top one is going through the top of the catalytic converter and this cable right here is go looping around the uh, the frame and this is a, a separate cable independent of this one which is also another loop around the around the frame so here is the front part, the catalytic converter, and the back part. Um, we got 24 feet of this one quarter inch stainless steel cable. You can, it's a little bit more expensive than the um, galvanized. Uh, I had to go online to get this. I wasn't able to find stainless steel in the big box stores, so I went online to purchase this. I've got multiple attachment points to the catalytic converter. I've got the wires running through here. And you can see here also two independent uh, cables uh, to the frame and then two separate cables uh, attached to the catalytic converter and I've got them uh, clamped together so if they cut this well they're gonna have to cut this one also if they cut this one they're gonna also have to cut the one back here got the second clamp back here also again two independent uh, connections to the catalytic converter here and also two independent connections to the frame this one goes this way and this one uh, goes into the back connects to the frame into the back there